Greetings, Earthlings. It's Shane with Oddball Cards, Pogs, Random Space Debris, Old Bologna Sandwiches. All right. In your time, it is June 16, 2021. I'm hiding out in 1971. You will get a sense of why soon. All right. The Legal Quips Qualms with Intercontinental Cards, GP, Lewis S., Joe Lombardo, Jeff Ruoff. I had to fight an injunction just to do this. They had several judges convinced that uh, my shows here were inane. Maybe uh, not dangerous, but uh, I don't know. They had me shut down. Luckily, I am hiding out. I hopped in the time machine, stole it from Dwight's Bison Farm, and we have a second box. I was going to sell it, but I had so much fun opening the dang little things that I'm opening it. Uh, sell it only because I didn't really uh, think I liked little cards. All right, their quips and qualms are that uh, too much sandwich talk and not about roast beef and pumpernickel uh, that I keep talking about pastrami. Well, that is my right to do so. I want to welcome again something old and new rips. I will put the link down below. Uh, I really enjoy drinking my coffee and listening to Rad Dad and B Dog, and now uh, something old and new rips. Really cool. Oh man, this is awesome for me. I love Paul Canerco. Those White Sox teams were uh, were pretty awesome. All right, they also uh, especially Ichted. He's on my case. He t keeps telling me I am a jinx and that I uh, am responsible for Tyler Glasnow's injury, Nick Madrigal's injury, and uh, Jacob DeGrom. But I think he's really reaching on DeGrom. I already knew he is just phenomenal. The other guys, I was just cheering for him. Here's a Segura. All right. And let's see here. Bubik, rookie. Not one of the uh, higher sought-after ones, but hey, we'll take it. With the miscellaneous ru uh, rookie channel, after all. Jeff McNeil should be coming back, even though the Mets are uh, low in home run totals. I don't think he'll help with that. Adrian Beltre, I think a surefire Hall of Famer. I don't think I'm speaking out of turn with that. Byron Buxton, I have just... Keep hoping he puts it all together, and then this year he did. I don't even know what his injury is, but I'm sad. All right. Will Myers. That is the first autograph I got out of a Fairfield repack. Am I saying that right? I think it's Fairfield. Uh, no comment, because I am not a jinx, but that is a Piedmont back. And not quite as good as last week's. Our Piedmont back here is Colin Moran. I think that's his name. Well, the back doesn't help me any. Um, I don't think we got any others. I guess Will Myers would be the third one. Nope, it is not a short print. All right, these are fun to open. That was kind of a dud pack. Uh, I brought along some extra things. I'm really enjoying watching the uh, 19 and 20 rookie classes uh, compete with the 21 uh, rookie class, which I find pretty strong. And boom, right out of the gate, he's dinged up, but I think he's due back soon. Can't even call him a miscellaneous one. Uh, this is just for, so I remember to give that to Tom. That's Big Mo Vaughn, one of my favorite players. Cliff Floyd, love him. Was this feeling nostalgic? So there's the Iron Man and Joey Vato. Justin Turner. I thought they were silly for bringing him back. There's a Future Stars card, something I collect. Oscar Mercado, Garrett Cooper, and the joke is on me. Hey, I love Dylan Cease. Uh, I am the president of both his fan club and Gary Sanchez's fan club. There is plenty of room on the Gary Sanchez bandwagon. He's been uh, heating up. He said in an unjinxing manner. But David Pert confronted me. He said, Shane, I've got a new invention, but I don't think it's for you. And I was like, dude, we're like uh, joined at the hip. 
on a mission to cheer up the world. And uh, he slapped me in the face. I won't lie. And I think it was with a tomato. And he said, Shane, I think you're obsessed with speed. I was like, dude, I drive like a jalopy. Yeah, I don't like to miss lights and, or be behind slow people, but I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with speed. To which he replied, how many times have you seen Limitless? I was like, dude, now you're getting kind of personal. And that's not about uh, speed. He said, Shane, I think you... Hey, look, look what we have. You can cover up Cliff Floyd. He said, Shane, I'm not talking about that kind of speed. He said, I think you're obsessed with brain speed. How many times have you seen Limitless, Lucy, Step Brothers? I was like, dude, those movies are so dissimilar, but I've seen them a whole bunch of times. And he said, you are just obsessed with your brain going faster and faster. Never is your mind on where you're going, what you are doing. I was like, hold on, David. You're freaking quoting Yoda there. That's a nice picture. Probably not a valuable card, but Rivera. I like this. The You're Down Rookie, Turkey Red. If you spaced out for a minute, we are opening four packs of Series 1 from 2020. Probably one of my favorite releases ever. Like ever, ever, ever. All right. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, so David was quoting Yoda on me. I sort of laughed. And like I said, I took off. I went to 1971. Uh, as usual, the, the top question I get flooded with, telegrams, uh, carrier pigeons. Here. Sorry, I thought there was a good card I missed. I did not. It's a future star of Edmund. There's so many guys here. I like Sean Murphy, Mauricio Dubon. I'm still holding out hope for these guys. McKinstry is popping up, I think, in Series 2 as a Dodger fan. He is uh, hitting the ball well. Again, ah, another guy in this set. See, this 2020 set is just loaded. Miscellaneous rookie, Michael Baez. If you need any of his rookie cards, I have 11,000 of them. So I went to uh, 1971, kind of spying on Angry Old Man. He was in South Africa at the site of Mario Andretti's first win. Uh, just as a point of interest, Etch-a-Sketches cost $2.83 in 1971. I know that because Angry Old Man has stopped hiding from me. He handed me an Etch-a-Sketch when I arrived. I thought that was pretty cool. Rock'em Sock'em Robots were $8.99. And you could buy a house for $5,600.32 or approximately three Mike Trout PSA 10 cards. So, oh, what a cool looking card. It's funny when you're actively looking for cards in a set, you don't really care about these sort of inserts. And probably tomorrow I won't care about them again. Me and Charlie Culberson won't care about them. Hey, Jackie Bradley Jr., Good pickup by the Brewers. All right, and that's Chris Archer, Anthony Santander, and the whistleblower, Mike Fires. All right, so, yeah. So I hope uh, Angry Old Man buys up some houses there to take care of those sick kids he's always looking after. We have a nice short video for you. I'm going to chill out here in 1971 and look for a Derwiner schnitzel to revisit my youth. As always, Oddball, out, Ethel Merman, Nathan Fillion, Wall Street, Step Brothers. Ah! Here come the moon black, now we can see the thunders, they won't let you remember.